What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video of Sean's Supercars. So today we're going to be doing the 2023 Formula 1 driver predictions and the constructors predictions. So let's see what my predictions are and you guys can comment yours below predictions or maybe even the same ones as me. So before we jump into it, I want to let you guys know that we're going to do a couple of polls for this channel that you guys can go vote on. I will link them in the description. You guys can vote for things about Formula 1. Alright, so we're going to kick it off right away with the drivers. So in 20th place, I have to go with Logan Sargent. I think that Williams this season, they're just going to be Williams. I mean, you guys know Williams for the last couple of years. They have not been at their best. Back in the day, they were awesome. But these days, they're not great. And, well, Logan, he's a rookie. He's a rookie, new to the sport. And I, I think that he's probably not going to do amazing in a Williams car. But over time, I think he will improve. I think that that's going to be Nick DeVries. The reason I picked Nick DeVries for 19th is because AlphaTauri this year Based off of what I've seen in preseason testing, have not showed to be a quick car. I do not see them as a quick car. I do not think they're going to be a quick car. And Nick DeVries, yet he has won multiple championships in different things, and he has scored points in a Williams car last season at Monza. I just don't, I don't think that AlphaTauri is going to be that quick this year. He's technically a rookie to the sport. He's not necessarily a rookie in racing, but in the sport he is. And I think Yuki's gonna show to be better than him this season. That is why for P18, I have to go with Yuki. I think that the AlphaTauri, as I said, is in a super quick car. And I think that he has more experience in Formula 1 than Nick DeVries. But Yuki is not a super fast driver. He hasn't shown to be a super quick driver. Once in a while he is, but that doesn't happen enough. So it's not gonna pull good results. So I think... Now, for P17, we're going to have to go with Alex Albon. I think Alex Albon is just one of those drivers who he's faster than his teammate, which is a rookie. He was listening at Red Bull for a while, didn't work out for him. Catching people out, not just in F1, but in F2 earlier as well, this final corner. Oh, there's got, no grip there at all. He went down to Williams, pretty slow car at the moment. But I think Williams is going to be a little bit quicker than last year. The pack's going to close in this year. And I think that he will be able to pass Yuki, Nick DeVries, and Logan. It's time for the Haas team. For Nico Hulkenberg. The reason I picked Nico Hulkenberg for P16 is still kind of a lower car, more in the back of the pack. But I think he's a pretty good driver. He can show to be a good driver. And that's why my, my guess for him probably isn't going to be correct. But based off of what I put, I think that that kind of makes sense. So, now we have Zhou Guan Yu. I think that he, in the two Haas cars, I think that ahead of him will probably be Kevin Magnussen because they're pretty close. I guess they'd be pretty close because the Alfa Romeo does look a little bit faster to me. So, is not as fast as Valtteri Bottas. Why, as we said, P14, Kevin Magnussen. You guys know the drill on Kevin Magnussen. Probably a little bit faster than Nico at the start of that season. We will see how that plays out for the rest of the season, but as of now, I think that that's a good position for him, realistically. And he knows the team a little bit. In P13, we got another Alfa Romeo, and that is going to be Valtteri Bottas. The reason I picked him in there is because I think he's a little bit faster than Zoguan Yu, but even a little bit faster than the Haas cars as well. I think that he can be a pretty quick driver if you put him in a good car because you guys have seen him at Mercedes. He got some pretty good race wins and he can compete against some of the best teammates. Sadly, for the McLaren fans, P12 is going to have to go to Oscar Piastri. He's a rookie. Still, I do not see him doing better than Lando. And the car has showed shocking results at testing. It does not look good at the moment. I do not think that McLaren are going to have a good beginning of the season. Maybe the second half of the season, they'll show to be like Mercedes was last season. How their car was pretty bad and it becomes a little bit better to compete. But by the end of the season, all of that stuff at the start of the season, even if they're catching up, is going to show hard. And to put the other McLaren teammate right in front of him, that's Lando Norris. I think Lando's a pretty quick driver, but... 
that car is not quick and i think he has that more experience than oscar i think it's gonna work out better for him in 10th place i'm gonna put pierre gasly i think that pierre gasly is gonna be behind esteban Ocon this season i think that's gonna take him a little bit of time to get used to that car and last season, he didn't show to be super good compared to Esteban. He finished six places behind him in that, which is a pretty big amount if you think about it. Now in between Pierre Gasly and Esteban Alcon, I'm going to have to stick Lance Stroll. Now Lance Stroll recently, he was in a bike accident, so he's going to be out for a while in the season. Felipe Drogovic is taking over his spot right now a couple races it might not be too good and he's not an amazing driver he's taken a bit of time to work on his talent and of course you guys know his dad I think he's gonna be in this, this sport for a while as long as his dad's around but the Austin Martin I think that the Austin Martin's gonna be really quick this season you guys obviously knew this Esteban Ocon's gonna be right in front of Lance and I think that he's a little bit more experienced with the Alpine I think that's going to work a little bit better for him. He finished six places higher last season as well, so I think that's going to be pretty good. For now, I had to do it. Mercedes isn't looking amazing this season again. I think they'll be a lot better than last season, but to be fighting for the top, I don't know about that. So that's why I'm going with George Russell for P7. I think that George Russell is a pretty quick driver. If he gets into a better Mercedes eventually, I think that he can be fighting for wins. But at the moment, it's not looking amazing for him. I don't see him winning tons of races. Lewis, I think Lewis is going to finish a little bit higher than him as well this season. I think he's going to finish directly ahead of him. Because last season he was putting in a lot more work developing the car than George was. So that's why George finished higher than him. But I do think Lewis is a better driver. I think, in my opinion, he's probably the best Formula 1 driver of all time. So, I'd say... P6 for him. Now we have Carlos Sainz in the Ferrari. They have a new team principal, which is Fred Vasseur, and I think that if he doesn't show good results at the start of the season, I think he's going to be placed as Ferrari's number two driver because you guys, if you didn't know, Fred likes to do that. He likes to pick a number one and a number two. Matita Bonato did not really pick a driver. He kind of just let them be equal on the team but I think that Fred is gonna be a little bit more ruthless and I think that Charles is showing better results than him for the last season so what's gonna be the change this season for number four I have a pretty bold prediction Fernando Alonso in the Austin Martin this is a pretty bold prediction but I see Austin Martin is becoming one of the top teams I can say that they could finish up pretty high this season and Fernando Alonso he can adapt pretty good to any car two-time world championship and maybe even a three-time this year who knows because I know that he can drive really quick in that car and as he said on drive to survive he's on the dark side now we gotta go with P3 I'm gonna go with Checo Perez I think Checo Perez is a pretty quick driver but compared to Max Verstappen he does not have enough pace I don't think that he was close enough to Max last year to make a big impression on Red Bull that he could become faster than Max. He's in testing. He actually put in the fastest lap, which is pretty nice. And I just know that, that Red Bull's going to have pace. In my opinion, Red Bull is still going to be the fastest car this season. Now it is time for the top two. Second place, I think, is Charles Leclerc. I think that Charles Leclerc is driving that Ferrari so really fast. He's probably going to be the number one driver, as I said, with Fred. I'd say that Fred will probably put him as number one if he shows good results over Carlos at the start of the season. And yeah, Max Verstappen is the 2023 Formula One World Champion. And the reason I think that is because the Red Bull is unstoppable. Did you see last season? He destroyed it every single race. He won so many more races than Checo. He won so many more races than everyone. And that Red Bull car looks unstoppable. I don't see anyone taking down Max at the moment. He's doing amazing job with that. He seems really happy with the car after preseason testing. And yeah, we'll see how it plays out. But remember, I think this season is going to be a lot closer. Now it is time for the Constructors standings. And in last place, I have to give it to Alpha Tari. I think their car looks really slow at the moment, you know. I just don't think it's going to go great for them. 
as I said, they have a new rookie, they have Yuki. Yuki doesn't show too much pace, and Nick DeVries is going to take a while to probably get better results in that car. I now for Williams, this is looking a little bit better. I think that they're going to finish P9, a little bit ahead of AlphaTauri. Maybe not a huge margin, but just enough to get past them. I think that Alex Albon will step up as a team leader. Haas has two pretty experienced drivers on their team now. Nico Hulkenberg and Kevin Magnussen. I think they'll do pretty good. And I think it'll turn out really nice for P7. I have to put Alfa Romeo. I think Zoguan Yu is going to do a lot better than he did last season. And Wall Street Bottas, we already know that he can be a pretty fast driver. You saw this one coming. It sucks, I know, for the McLaren fans. And I'm not saying I'm not a McLaren fan. I'm disappointed about this as well. But sadly, 6th place is going to McLaren. Their car just doesn't look fast this season. I just don't think it's going to work for them. A P5 is going to have to go to Alpine. I think that Alpine... He's probably ended up in P5 because the tables are shifting around a little bit now. Teams at this top are starting to change around more. I think Austin Martin's going to be up there, which is going to mess up a lot of things for many teams. Now time for P4. I'm going to have to go with the Mercedes Petronas team because their car looks like it's not going to be super fast, a lot faster. And they might start going up way higher. So my predictions might be way off with Mercedes. We will see eventually. Now, time for a shocker. P3 is going to be Austin Martin Racing. I think Austin Martin Racing is going to be up there. I think Fernando is going to do a really good job this season. And since Lance is out, he might not score as many points, which will be a little bit hard on the team. But they do have Felipe Drogovic scoring some points to them at the start, hopefully. And according to some teams... That car looks as fast as a Red Bull through corners. And you guys know how fast Red Bull is. Now for P2, we're going to go with Ferrari, which means Red Bull will be P1. But Ferrari is in P2. I think that their strategist will do much better this season. They have a new team principal. I think that that will work good for them in the end. And number one, we're going to put Red Bull. The reason Red Bull, as I said, their car looks the fastest to me. I think it's going to be pretty hard for anyone to catch up. To that RB18. Sorry, 19. Wait, what? Um, yeah. It's gonna be pretty hard to catch up to that RB18. RB19. Sorry. Sorry, I, I, got, I got them mixed up. They do look a little bit similar. My bad. Anyway. Yeah. So basically, who I think you're going to need to watch out for this season is Fernando Alonso. Got pace, got a quick car. I think they should watch out for him up there because he will be up high. I do want to thank you guys for spending a couple minutes with me listening to my standings. I want to hear your guys' standings in the comments below. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, maybe even the subscribe button if you like. It's fine with me if you don't, but it would be cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And check out those polls in the link in the description below.